Hi guys, and welcome back to Angel Talk. This is your podcast for new competitors, for competitors who like us, who have you know done it a few times. So I'm one of your hosts. So I'm Savannah, one of the suit stylists here at Angel Competition Bikinis, and I have my other half. I'm Deb, also a suit stylist, and we're both brand directors, so we get to work with a lot of really cool sponsored athletes and angel ambassadors and angel elites. So yeah, well, I'm excited to talk to you. So we had the pleasure of going to an amazing event and. We wanted to recap it for you guys if you weren't able to attend and just kind of highlight some things that we learned mm -hmm. um, about the conference. So it was January 29th. Yeah. 29th. And we were in Las Vegas, which is an amazing place. There's so many things to do. Um, it was called the... The NPC Women's Workshop. And yes. it was hosted by Sandy Williamson, who is the queen, the head judge for the women's IFBB, NPC, just... I mean, she's such she, an advocate of women in the sport. Yeah, she is literally like the mascot of yeah. of of the bo bikini bodybuilding, of yeah. female bodybuilding. Yeah. She's just she knows everything. Yeah, it was so insightful to get to hear like her thoughts from you know a, the head judge at the Olympia is perspective of like what they're looking for this year you know things to do mm -hmm. things not to do um, and just how they had it organized it just there was a lot of work that went into yeah. the event so it was really cool to see yeah and get to be a part of it and how many females came yeah. I um I was shocked of how many female athletes came to this event. Yeah. It was, it sold out like really quickly. Yeah. What I really loved about Sandy's, um, she did an intro and she got very emotional. She mm -hmm. got kind of teary eyed and that just really warmed my heart. I mean, yeah. she is such an advocate of women in the sport, not just, you know, we see the women bodybuilders, we see the women on stage, but there's the women promoters, there's the female judges, yeah. there's the females behind the scenes, like up yeah. in the, you know, the Mannions and all the women back there. It was just really, really It was super inspiring. And, you know, like Angel Competition Bikinis, we are female yeah. ran, operated, yeah. empowered. Like we do suits for just females. And so it's like yeah. nice. You're like, I love female, female empowerment. And, yeah. you know, um, it's, it, it was great to be able to represent, you know, our brands there at the event. Yeah. Um, and I have to say that Sandy is so personable. I mean, she, it can be very, a little intimidating yeah. to think about her with all the quote unquote power she has as far as I handing know. out those pro cards, but she is really very approachable. She's kind. Yeah. She, she loves the sport so much. It's, um, you can tell like she has so much passion for the sport, which is mm -hmm. great because you know, like yeah. us athletes, we have passion to do it. Yeah. Um, and it's just, she feels the same way that we feel about yeah. the sport. She loves it. She wants to yeah. be at every show and every event and she really wants to help the athletes. So I think, and as a master's competitor yeah. myself, she is a huge advocate for the master's competitors, which yeah. those classes are growing there it's like the largest growing it's class. getting competitive yeah. too like yeah. the, as yeah. as i think as it grows more and more are like finding it later in life too mm -hmm. and it's just the masters they are some dense athletes yeah. Yeah. i and give them props just yeah because they are they are <laughs> it is competitive i do not want to have to compete in a master get your pro class. card before yeah. you become a master because it's competitive well let's talk about some of the other things yeah. like the the first part of the first almost half of the day uh -huh. was the different divisions being showcased with yeah. the top athletes in the world. That was just like a front row seat yeah. to Olympian royalty. It was a free event and yeah. it did not, it, I mean, it was high quality caliber athletes, mm -hmm. like every Miss Bikini Olympia figure, figure um, bodybuilding, body, yeah, every yeah, physique, wellness, fitness. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, fitness, yeah. Fitness, oh. The two, the queens of fitness, Whitney and yeah. uh, Missy. Like, I am, I can have no ability to do flips and twirls <laughs> and they are doing it stage lean with a, yeah. like, I can't imagine how hard it would be to do those, but, um, it was so insightful. They were able to break it down division by division mm -hmm. and just like walk through for, you know, even like us, you know, we've done a few shows, we understand the difference, but, but there's even more than we even mm -hmm. knew. There's just, it's just, they broke it down like step by step, detail by detail, mm -hmm. physique by physique. If, the posing is different because yeah. we want to see this and we want to see, you know, different tapers. Um, so we got to see poses of yeah. how it's supposed to look. And, and on different bodies too. Yeah. And 
What I thought was really interesting is, particularly in bikini, it's a little bit more subjective than the other divisions. Yeah. And so she pointed out, and Etila was the uh, MC for bikini and wellness, but she pointed out that you know a lot of times you know competitors or people in the audience will say, oh, so and so had the best physique up there, yeah. and Sandy was like, yeah, she did, but for this division and for what we're looking for. Yeah that was not the winning physique. And that's hard, that's hard as athletes because we so much respect the muscularity and physicality of a gorgeous physique. It's like we always want to build bigger, better, yeah. but in, in bikini specifically, it was not bigger, is not yeah. better. It is overall balance, symmetry, mm -hmm. posing. I mean, the posing was, for, for me, a personal takeaway was I need to work on my posing. Yeah, every um, day. Every single <laughs> every day. day. I There's, mean, the pros do it. They I, do it every I know. day. And just, you could tell. It's different. It yeah. looks professional. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. You can tell there was so much practice and, and the poise. Mm -hmm. and um, I have to say, you know, we're bikini girls, yeah. so we're very well versed. But, I mean, seeing the uh, physique athletes, uh, Natalia, yes. seeing the figure athletes, uh, Latoria and uh, bo bo Bojana, I was just like. I'm blown I was, away. I was blown away. I, I seriously so feminine and yes. so poised and so graceful and so much muscularity yes. as I was fangirling. Like the time. ratios were insane. Like yeah. even at like, it's still wide shoulders, small waist. Yeah. Like it's that X so, frame. And they're it, so graceful. It is. It is crazy. Yeah. Like it, they are posed to their fingertips. To their fingertips. And it's yeah. like everything is calculated and, yeah. and it's like a smile and then it's like a subtle yeah. little looks and it just was so amazing it's yeah. amazing to watch and that's why they are it who was they beautiful are. it was um, beautiful and it's just amazing like that is the highest level to get to and um it was crazy yeah. to see to see them in person and they're all, almost all of them are training for the arnold mm -hmm. so they're a few weeks out from mm -hmm. the stage so they're very close yeah. to getting stage lean yeah um it was very beneficial and they were so personable as well i mean yeah. all of them stayed for the whole conference it's yes. not like they did their little part mm -hmm. and then left they were all up front they were all kind of at a panel table yeah. and they were very engaged and at breaks they took pictures right. and things like that and breakout posing sessions every oh, single yeah. person every pro we met was so kind mm -hmm. they're just they, again they love the sport it's just the kind of person that's in the sport and that you know we're meeting girls and chatting mm -hmm. you know in the audience of other athletes that were attending it's just everyone was so excited to be there and so mm -hmm. I love the energy that we were able to get from and just the motivation, you know, because yeah. it's it's not a show, so it's you don't have to really mm -hmm. get nervous to be on stage, but you still get to get the show yeah. experience of oh, we're all competitors, and I see your water jug, and it's not yeah. weird for me yeah. to be eating out of Tupperware. out of a baggie, <laughs> and their food was amazing. They had they had macro friendly food. Oh my goodness! What was interesting was how many of the uh, participants were true novice, yes, or novice, yeah, and they got to be in the mock show. I know, and I asked Savannah, I said. Do you think they really no. understand that they're in front of Sandy Williamson? Getting like one-on-one -on -one yeah. personalized feedback yeah. from top athletes for like the before their first show. I couldn't tell that they were novice. No, I, they I were... was expecting to see, you know, some posing mistakes, but mm, they, they got good. to do a mock show, which is intimidating in front of a yeah. room of 400 or yeah, whatever. Professionals, yeah, professionals, uh, Olympians, judges, they, they were very poised. Yeah, so I give it up to those girls because <laughs> I definitely did not want to be up yeah. there. Um, but it was it was fun. I think for me, like what I took away was just the posing and that there's so many avenues for a career inside mm -hmm. your season and outside once you retire. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do this forever and you can even take two, three years off and start to stay mm -hmm. involved in the sport. Um, we got to hear the behind the scenes for Muscle Contest. So Muscle Contest is wife's. Uh, we're in charge of marketing mm -hmm. and like sales and all the different kind of behind the scenes for them. And it was very interesting. They were teaching us, you know, you in this sport, you really need to treat yourself like a brand and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the things that you're posting, are you going to be okay if they're posted out there in five years yeah. and 10 years? And that really was impactful for me because especially, you know, bikini is a little, you know, out there, bodybuilding is a little mm -hmm. out there, you know, you're showing your physique yeah. off, but I think we bodybuilders do it in a way that it's something that you can be proud of yeah. in five or ten years yeah I mean you, know? you can do it in a very classy way in yeah. an inspiring way um, and so that's really what I know we advocate and we, we yeah. strive to do with our own social media 
And if you look at the pros, the top in the business, that's what they do too. Yeah, and other things too, we got a, um, there was only one male. We Kimoto. did Kimoto. Yeah. He, he got special he was great. privilege. Yeah, and he got special privilege to be there. But I liked the thing he talked about tanning and what I really liked about what he said that I hadn't really thought about. I mean, I always do like my own do-it-yourself mm-hmm. base coat. Yeah. But he said there's a reason. I know. To, you know, to, if you are of a paler complexion, right. like we're, we're practically yeah. translucent right now. And, um, and to put, your, put, put a, a coat of color, whether it be a fake bake yeah. or a tan. I had never is, heard that before. Yeah, to go in there, it gives the uh, professional tan something to kind of adhere on top yeah. of and the skin prep too it's like taking your prep to the little details because you know your tan is what mm-hmm. showcases your physique uh, at the end of the day so if your tan is is weird looking and splotchy then your physique looks yeah weird yeah. honestly so like that prepping of you know exfoliating your skin making sure there's no dead skin cells if you know um lotioning like just like little details that are going to go into it because i know all we think about all day is am i going to be lean enough it's like mm-hmm. well what about the skin yeah. prep is your skin going to be prepped how's your tan going to come out mm-hmm. what about your hair what about your makeup like all of those little details that go into this overall package yeah. um and coffee that's one thing. Yeah. The coffee affecting your pH. Yeah. Had never even thought about yeah. so what you Yeah. So if you, like, consume. don't drink coffee, like, yeah. a few days. I mean, I don't drink coffee anyway, but that's that was very interesting. Tea. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know? it, I mean, anything you're eating mm-hmm. at the end it can change you, make you green, make, mm-hmm. you, make you red. So if you're drinking too much coffee, you turn green. It's Have the, you ever been green on stage? Um, I have. I've, I've been, been I've been red. <laughs> I've been, I always get red armpits. Um, yes. So yeah. we... Um, I've, I've had, I don't know, sometimes my armpits turn red. I don't know. Um, but we have a great partnership with Mm -hmm. liquid sunrays Sunrays, and they have like, if you guys have any questions about skin prep, they always will send out like before, if you're booking it for your show, Mm -hmm. like what you're supposed to do. They're like a week before, you know, exfoliate, um, you know, don't lotion, make sure you shave, Mm -hmm. uh, shave waxing. They talk about everything with your like bruising cuts scabs things like that that's you know tanning's just going to make those darker i know and so that it was just it was just nice just to hear that just because mm-hmm. it gives you an edge so the athletes that did attend it you know you know just hearing that one little thing mm-hmm. you know make yeah, sure one you, takeaway one yeah. takeaway of like you know a little detail could be the reason why your, you know your tan looks better than the competitor next to you mm-hmm. um and then going into like makeup yeah i I love getting to see with Elaine. Elaine. Good lad, she does yes. all my makeup at nationals. So I, shout out to Elaine. I just booked her for mine Yay. because I after that show, I was like, I gotta, I gotta yeah. book her. So yeah. I, I booked her, um, and I trusted her work. Yeah. She's very knowledgeable. Yeah. Been in the industry for, for a, a long, long time, time, and she's been a competitor too. Yeah, so mm-hmm. she understands, and you know, you can't match your suit color to your eyeshadow color. Yeah, like little things like that, and you want to look nice and don't tan your face mm-hmm. and just like small I knew not to tan your face yeah. I don't know how I did but I've heard that yeah. before um, some people do I personally do not tan my face no no don't tan your face but you know she yeah. talked a lot about you know just the art I mean the art of makeup is very you know it's a skill that takes time to perfect yeah. I mean she's been doing it for years and years and years so I mean there's a lot of uh, athletes that are doing do-it-yourself makeup yeah. which is you know a lot of professional athletes like Ashley K yeah um, and we're coming out with a do-it-yourself makeup kit called Radiant. So Radiant we're excited about that. Yeah. All of our fashion show models, the little plug, yep. will be getting it and trying it. So yeah. it's going to come. We're launching it sometime this year. So I'm yep. excited to see how that works. And it's just good just to know, like, the professionals who you trust with your face and your tan, like, they know their mm-hmm. their stuff. Mm-hmm. Um and, and that's all about giving you confidence on stage. Yes. I mean, we are here to help you be confident, you know, with your suit, your suit color, yeah. your physique. You know, you also need to have that team of people with your tan, with your hair, with yeah. your makeup, your coach. Everybody's there designed to help you feel confident on stage. Yeah. I and see. judges can see that. They can. And they talked about that, too. Like, if you're, if you're you know, hesitant and yeah. you're... Judges can pick up on that, and they like a confident. A facial expressions. And it's it's literally, you know, she's talking about, like, simply, like, standing tall. Mm -hmm. They kept saying, you know, stand tall and proud. and Making eye contact with the judges. Yeah, eye contact and not – I loved when Etla was doing the things not to do. Yeah. And she was like – 
not touching your body. She's yeah, like, no. we don't want to see you touching yeah. yourself. Yeah. I was laughing. It was funny. Um, um, she's over exaggerating yeah. bad poses, but yeah. it's good because you know you will have female judges. You know, family friendly. Mm-hmm. They're like, we want to see yeah. a hard front pose mm-hmm. and a back pose because you're not necessarily judge on mm-hmm. transitions mm-hmm. which was nice to hear that you're getting judged on who has the best front pose and who and has the best pose. back pose but everything they see goes into their impression yes. and I, one of them said that that you know the longer you're on stage also uh-huh. the longer you're giving the judges to find flaws and yeah. that's what judges are there to do is find your flaws yes they're not there to i mean because they're they're taking like the perfect yeah. and they're counting down from there so yeah. every time they see a flaw it's a count yeah so um you know especially uh, novice athletes that get on stage and take a long time to do Mm -hmm. their routine. They're just giving the judges all kinds of time to find those flaws. I know. So it's get in and get out, even on the professional, because the pros have longer to Mm -hmm. do their routines, but short and sweet, you know, you have to be considerate about other athletes and the timing of the Mm -hmm. show. And that's something I'm always mindful of my own posing. Mm -hmm. If you take a long time, that cuts off time for the athlete behind you. Well, and, and normally the expediter is telling you to go. And if the person, the athlete on stage is still doing their routine and really not paying any attention to the fact that, Oh, the next right. one is coming. It's really awkward it is to kind of stand awkward. there while somebody finishes their routine. Yeah. So that's what I, I, I time my routines because mm-hmm. I want, you know, I want a short and sweet, but slow and, and yeah. very, very controlled. The core control, um, uh, Sid Gillen. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. She was talking about how you need to be holding like yeah. plank poses yeah. and just not even that breathing. That ab vacuum. Yeah. yeah. Just the whole time you want your core just to be a solid rock. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention, too, is I talked about hair. Because yeah. I, get, I get asked that a lot about, well, do I have to have long hair? Do I have to? Right. Can I color my hair? And they said, you know, if you're a shaved head yeah. and that's how you feel confident, yeah, we, have, when we have pros that have, yeah. you know, have shaved heads. We have, you know, women are now getting on stage with colors in their hair. And they just have to be appropriate. Right. And you have to be you. It has to fit your look. Yeah. I think that was that was nice because, she, you know, if you have pink stripes or whatever she was mm-hmm. saying, you know, whatever it is, because she doesn't know what she's looking for, you have to show them what, you know, they're looking for mm-hmm. that day. So if you come out and you have, you know, whatever color, hair, whatever length, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if your physique's on point and mm-hmm. you bring everything that they ask, you hit the criteria, you have X frame, your condition, you're lean, you're not too hard, whatever it is, if you fit the criteria and you're confident and you, you rock it, you're getting mm-hmm. rewarded for it. So, you know, your hair length is not necessarily going to be a factor. Yeah. They are going to get to like, if, if your back's exposed, it is going to mm-hmm. get judged. They yeah. If your back it. is, if you're rocking short hair and you're in bikini and you have a super muscular back, that could count you down yeah. because they're not looking for super muscular back yeah so it is kind of nice to have that curtain of hair to hide it just in case you are someone like myself whose upper body comes in a lot Mm -hmm. leaner than our lower body so sometimes i just like to have my hair over my Mm -hmm. back in case i get too lean up there but it's it's nice just just to hear from a judge's perspective that they've considered everything you know Mm -hmm. like how do you pick between first and second and it goes down to the details they look for the flaws who Mm -hmm. made the least amount of flaws Mm -hmm. is who usually takes home the Mm -hmm. title yeah so what else do we have going coming up here at Angel? We've got a couple of big things coming up. We have a ton. We yeah. have so much coming. So it's it's February. So yes. now we're going into to Arnold. The Arnold is next. We will be at the Arnold. Yes. So if you guys are there, we're going to have a booth. We'll be there all weekend. We are partnering with Pro Physique. Um, and I the think bikini booth? The bikini booth, If yeah. you were at the Olympia, you saw the bikini booth? Yeah, so a little bikini booth there. Um, we're, I'm excited to watch the Arnold. We have mm-hmm. a couple of athletes we can highlight we have a now. Few, yeah. I think we have six or seven yes. athletes. Uh, bikini, I know we have three. So And we have one in wellness. One wellness, and then we have two fitness. Mm-hmm. Um, fitness. Fitness. That's exciting. That. So I'm excited to see them. It's just, it's motivating. It's so motivating. So I'm, and those expos are so, like, my first expo was yeah, the Olympia. And oh my goodness, that it's was fun. I can't wait to see what the Arnold does. It's fun. There's so many goodie bags and like free stuff yeah. and like swag <laughs> items and just meeting other people yeah. too. So come up, say hi. Don't be afraid. Yeah. We don't buy it. Come say hi. Yeah, we'll be, we'll have suits there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do have fittings. Tons of suits. You can buy suits right there and take yeah. them with you. You can order. We'll have specials. So it's perfect time yeah. to get your suit for like summer, summer yeah. fall shows and yeah. be able to try it on in 
person. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and then what and else then is coming up? We have up? the fashion show. Yay! That, and I'm excited. Yeah, we've worked so hard on that. Yes, we worked a ton of well, so much work this year. This is our fifth. Annual? It's our fifth one, yeah. Yeah, so the, the what year three was virtual. It was kind of a virtual yeah, fashion cause of show because of COVID. But yeah, I mean, we have 130 models, yep. something like that, and we have more pros in the show than we've ever had before. Yeah, upwards of 25 yeah. to 30. Maybe. Yeah, we have Olympians. Yeah. We have a professional director. We have a singer. Acrobats. Th- we have a, we have a singer that was yeah. on The Voice, yes. season four of The Voice. Jackie Sandel. Look yes. her up before um, you come to the show, so you'll. Be impressed. We have every almost every age. We have yes. a we have multiple seventy yes, year olds. Seventy walking. years old, yeah. And we have, I mean, you know, athletes and novice that have never stepped on stage. This mm-hmm. is their first show experience, which I am very excited for them mm-hmm. to like start into the competing world on the fashion show stage. Um, we have like uh you know, OG OGs. <laughs> OGs. I'm an OG now. Who's who's done it a few times, we're still around. Can you believe we're both OGs? Right. Like, we're still amateurs yeah. as, as of now. Um, but, uh, you know, it's fun. Like it's just a, it's a great place because there's no, we're not competing yeah. against each other. It's just we're building confidence and we're connecting, meeting new friends, and we have a lot of different people at our Angel Expo that mm-hmm. we're excited about. Yeah, we're partnering with the Nashville Fit Show, yes. so Whitney Weiser will be there at the expo yeah. and at the show. Yes. And then um, like Adam Bonilla yep. will be there doing a glute seminar. Uh, yeah, Celeste Reigns Turk. Celeste Reigns Turk, yes. Food and relationships we all need help with. <laughs> which oh by the way she's also doing a workshop in Phoenix yeah, next I weekend. Heard, yeah. Um, build a better body competition season kickoff. So I'll be at that too. So that'll be it's, good. It's so many amazing people that we're mm-hmm. able to like bring on to the fashion show stage. So I'm excited. I have some fun suits planned. I so know you've already you, got your suits. I already have mine ready, but if you guys are looking to shop suits, like the fashion show stage, mm-hmm. it, it's a great place to look yeah, at. All those suits will all be available suits, to, to have yeah. all the colors, yeah. literally every color. Yes. That's what's been so fun about doing the fashion yeah. show suits is the models are letting us be really creative yeah. and put together some really unique combinations. So I'm excited to see what they I'm come up with. I'm super excited too. We yeah. have some fun things in store yeah. um, for all the models attending. Can't wait to see you guys. Oh, yeah. And, sure. and that's taking place here in Kansas City, Missouri, um, March 19th, 19th 7, 7.30. 7.30 p.m. If you guys would like, tickets are on sale. We'll mm-hmm. include that in the description of this episode. And it will be live streamed. So yeah, I mean, you if can you guys want find to tune out how to do that. Too. But, you know, the best, the best thing is we're going to videotape the whole thing and we'll have a professional video put together yeah. for after. So that'll be the best part that yeah. you can view. It's it's so much fun. Yeah. I love Fashion Show Weekend because like, we have just so many events planned. Like it's mm-hmm. a literal whole weekend. We've got group workouts at, yeah. at Chiefs Fit, which, yeah. oh, by the way, we were out there last week weekend yes. that's an amazing place yeah. they are so welcoming to us and they are helping us sell the theater out yeah. so that's what we want to do is sell the theater out and i think we'll do it this year oh i know yeah i already know like how many interests we are going to have we're going to sell it out it's going to yeah. be super fun yeah. and so stay tuned you know i know a lot of people maybe applied and yep. so are interested in walking Coming up. Coming up, maybe. Another I don't know. one. We, we might. might do we might. One. We might. Just stay tuned. Yeah. Um, you'll, we'll give you guys the most up to date information mm-hmm. here on our podcast. We'll also stay t- yep. tuned on our Instagram, um, our behind the scenes account. You can follow mm-hmm. us for more information. So we'll let you guys know if you know anything else is coming and when applications for the next show will go yep. live. And how do they follow you on Instagram? Oh, so my personal Instagram handle is at savsharp underscore. You can follow me there. I like to post all my prep mm-hmm. stuff. And what about you? I'm at get fit done. Yeah. And same. I like to post all my stuff there. And, and, and Deb, if they need a suit. If they need a suit. What are they gonna do? Call? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Us. Us, So yes. you guys can always book consultations yeah. with one of us. And we did just add two stylists yeah, to our team stylists. for yeah. in-person and consultations. And they're taking that in yeah. Tampa and Houston. Yeah, they're so doing great. we are super excited to bring them on. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure chatting with you guys and chatting with Savannah, reliving the weekend. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and tune in for another podcast next week. See ya. Thanks. Bye.